together between Navajo Nation and Fern Creek High School. It's a, it's a wonderful program. And yesterday, or early this morning, we went to the farmer's market. It was so beautiful to see young people engage with the elders, people from the city, coming from the country, homeland, and talking about food and what it means for our communities. And it's just such a wonderful experience to see young people learning about food, thinking about the future, and thinking about how we can use food to better sustain ourselves, to be healthier, to be happier, and to be more cohesive. And We, we educate, the reason that we bring students here, the reason that, you know, we, we live in the world and we need to be successful in the world. And I guess the question as educators that we need to be asking is, yes, how are we preparing students for a test because it's important, but how are we, how are we preparing students to, 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 to attach and associate and, and be able to, to be successful in, in the world? What I enjoyed the most about Luvo is meeting the people. They're very nice, and I like the scenery too. Like, it's very green, and there's lots of water. And just like the city, it's just like very beautiful. <laughs> it's not every day that we can just take off to Kentucky, you know, or take off anywhere, and get to know people, like welcoming, people who welcome you to where they live. You know, it's not every day that happens. And I've learned there's different farms. <laughs> I've only thought there was farms like with animals and stuff. Because that's how I, that's what we know. But I know there's like farms for dairy and vegetation and stuff. So that was pretty cool. How do we bridge those gaps? How do we make it better? And one of the ways is by empowering young people and by enabling young people to ask big questions around food and to, to care about it. And if we care about the food that we eat, if we care about where it comes from, if we want to know its story, then the component with education, no matter where that is, helps to fill gaps. It helps to help young people to be able to be part of the change and to be more aware and to just start that relationship and say, listen, I want to do something. I might want to start a garden at my house. I might want to shop at the farmer's market, but it's going to enable young people to also feel like they're a part of something. Um, instead of just uh, feeling like they're a consumer, they're just, they're part of the actual process.